95 here. Um, basically, I'm just giving bringing a tutorial on um, how to create a simple muzzle flash um, slash kind of bullet hole effect uh, on Sony Vegas Pro 9. So yeah, uh, here we go. Right, first of all, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to a website. Well, well, there's two ways really. There's one easy way and there's one slightly harder way. You can go to a website which I use quite often, it's called Detonation Detonation Film so I can't spell dot com and just basically go there and they have um just click on this one here. They have all different effects that you can download and anything like that. And they've got muzzle flashes and anything like that. Usually you have to choose the zip uh file and then extract it, which can be a bit difficult as you don't really know how to, but um other than that it's easy. But the way I usually use, which is a bit easier, is just going to a simple image site, so I you use Google Images. Uh, so yeah, just go. Google, you can use Bing images, Yahoo images, whatever place. Just look around, and then just type in muzzle flash. Y if you want, you can type in bullet holes as well. If you want to put like bullet holes on like a wall or something like that, whatever. Um, then just find a muzzle flash. Um, I'll choose probably this one. This is the first one. I can't be able to choose anything else. Okay, and then just save that picture whatever yeah just save it as and then once you've saved it and anything like that go back to your um, your actual thing your Sony Vegas page with your video oh yeah I forgot to actually mention you have to take a video of yourself like shooting a gun I guess guess it's pretty obvious but if you don't know already to just take a video like with your webcam just go project media and then push this little button of a camera here it says capture video so that basically means you can like just um, record via external device so webcam camcorder attached to it anything like that and you can just record so yeah anyway you um, then what you do is uh, find the picture it will probably be in your images in, uh, yeah, in, so just insert the image I've got it here uh, drag it onto the timeline you might wanna obviously make a new um, video track to put it in just push right click and just push insert video track uh, now you might re notice when you go over the actual muzzle flash it's just a black screen you can't see anything you can only see the muzzle what you need to do there is right uh, I'll click on this little icon which says event FX click on that then go to this uh, uh, FX thingy here it's called Sony Chroma Kia just click that okay or double click or whatever, and then you want to drag this thing here down to black. That will basically erase any black that it sees on there. Uh, so then you can just see it's fine there. there. Right, okay. Then what you need to do is you need to go through and find the exact place where you actually shoot the gun. So if you just go through pushing each frame, just click right. You could zoom in and out by pushing up and down. Uh, just go through looking for where you shoot the gun. Um, Mine's probably on frame. There it is. I found it. Right, okay, so if I just go back to frame 46, possibly. Oh, so I better mention that my fucking computer is shit. Like, I got it for like £2.50 or something. Um, yeah, so just find. Yep, yeah, so I shoot there. So then just drag the actual thing to that position. Now, obviously, it's way too big and you don't want it that big. So what you do is you just click on this little icon here. It says event pan slash crop. Click on that. Then just if yours is like mine or it's facing this different direction, just twist the thingy round so it like looks okay. Then what you want to do is get this little arrow on the corner here and just make the box bigger, ironically making the image smaller, but whatever. Okay, once you got it about small enough, drag it over to the place where you actually shoot. Now what I usually do is I usually put it on there like just a little bit below the actual gun. Because I, because when I move it, I actually like do it. It looks different. So just put it just a tiny, just like a tiny bit below. Now what you might notice is when you go through, it will stay in the same place if you like raise your hand. So obviously that doesn't look very good. So if you just go, like 
it obviously doesn't look very good. So what you're going to want to do is go back to event pan slash crop and see this little bar here where it has um, or things like that. What you want to do is click on this little arrow thing here and then just push right that stick skips next keyframe and as you can see it like skips next frame. What you want to do is you want to let me just zoom in a little bit here. What you want to do is um, get it and wherever your hand moves just move the picture up slightly so it's just below the gun again and that will actually save it and make it after that move to that position so if you see here it stays in the same place which gives it a better effect like that now obviously you're not going to want it to last for very long so just skip two keyframes or two frames even where you want to last and then you can make it last however you want you can make it last three keyframes or three frames even I don't care okay so yeah so then Sometimes it you make it a bit too small and it doesn't really work, so you just gotta make it a bit bigger. So like one more frame. Yeah. See and that's basically it. Oh now all you need to do is just add a uh how much time I got there. Six minutes, sorry. Now all you need to do is just add a sound effect. Uh and loads of people are always asking, where do you find decent sound effects from? I can't find a sound effect. You can just type in uh, muzzle flash sound effect if you want but what I usually do this might help you in the future as well is I usually go on a website which is called uh, let me write it in actually zedge dot net z z e d g e dot net now this is like a really good site like it's not only for like phones so you can download ringtones themes wallpapers games and anything like that but it's also for computers so you can like just download any sound effects anything like that so just go to ringtones and type in whatever you want to do if you can see and anything like that and then so just type in muzzle flash or no I mean like gunshot or anything like that just download it and that's about it you don't have to extract the files nothing and then you just have it it's that easy and anything like that so then once you have the sound file go back to Sony Vegas Pro 9 um, find your file where's the file so I've already got it here because I've used it already in the previous then just put it there now with the file that I've actually got it's a bit awkward because it's like has a cocking sound at the beginning so you just gotta trim it down to where the gunshot starts and let me just trim this part down because this it has like numerous gunshots so so to about there yeah should be alright um yeah okay after you've done that let's find out where the file is okay and then just drag it along to wherever your thing is, yeah, that's all right, and that is basically it. Uh, that's you could do this with anything else as well. You could do it with different muzzle flashes. You could do it for like a machine gun or anything like that. Please check out my other videos, my sugar gun and uncover, and my unwanted video. Uh, and that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed my uh, tutorial. I will put a video on, just like showing this little clip it this little um, thing uh, this video and that's it okay thank you I hope you enjoyed my tutorial uh, on muzzle flash thank you